Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. If you've spent time watching content about productivity on YouTube, you've probably seen several videos about how to wake up super early and have a productive morning. Last week I even posted my own take on how to create a successful early morning routine, which you can check out here. But while a productive morning routine is certainly important, it can be easy to overlook a prerequisite to the morning routine, a relaxing evening and a good night's sleep. In this episode, I'm going to talk about my own evening routine and how I wind down before bed in order to get the best night's sleep. Your ideal evening routine may look a little bit different, but I hope some of these ideas can help you create the best routine that works for you. Before we get started, I would be very grateful if you would subscribe to this channel if you find this content valuable. I'm Sarah Stilke, I'm a scientist, and my channel is all about how to become a peak performer. The first thing that I tried to do is stop working at a consistent time every day. Like many people these days, I work from home, and it can be difficult to draw the line between personal and professional time. I think that if you work from home, it's especially important to have boundaries between work and home activities. I'm definitely not perfect at this, but by stopping work at a consistent time, consistently, my brain can unplug from the activities of the day and can begin to relax and focus on other things. The next thing that I do as many nights as I can per week is to cook a healthy dinner at home. Cooking dinner at home is generally going to be healthier than eating out and allows me to save money. I will either eat a dinner that I've meal prepped ahead of time or spend some extra time to prepare a fresh dinner from scratch without feeling rushed. The biggest benefit of cooking and eating at home is that I tend to sleep better after eating a home cooked meal. Oftentimes the food at restaurants is going to be richer and heavier than what you would normally cook for yourself and there is nothing worse than laying in bed feeling bloated, gassy, or thirsty from a big, salty meal. The next thing that I do after enjoying a healthy home-cooked dinner is to make sure that my home is clean and tidy. I absolutely hate waking up in the morning and finding dirty dishes in the sink or clutter around the house. It just feels dirty and is not the blank slate that I want to see when waking up in the morning. I usually keep my house pretty clean, so maintaining it usually only takes a couple minutes in the evening. I'll make sure that all the dishes are loaded into the dishwasher and that there are no dirty clothes on the floor. I have two cats that can be pretty messy, so I usually sweep up the floor or do a quick vacuum before heading to bed. Once my home is clean and tidy, it's time to get myself clean and tidy. I prefer to shower in the mornings, so in the evening I will just remove my makeup and wash my face. I'll brush my teeth and put on a nice clean set of pajamas. Next, I do the part of my evening routine that will have the biggest impact on both my sleep and the next day. And that is to do as many things in the evening that will reduce stress and effort the next morning. One part of this is to prepare my breakfast for the next morning. If I'm going to make a smoothie for breakfast, I'll add all the dry ingredients to the blender and leave it in the fridge. That way, all I need to do is add the wet ingredients in the morning and pop it in the blender. I will also look at my schedule for the next day so that I can get a sense of what the day ahead will hold. I will choose and set out my clothes for the next day so that I don't need to think about that in the morning. I will also take a few minutes to write down a couple of big goals for the next day so that from the moment I wake up, I will have some sense of direction and focus. I know that a lot of people journal in the evenings as well. I agree that there are so many benefits to this habit, but unfortunately, it is not a habit that I currently stick to. I do plan on adding journaling to my evening routine at some point in the future, though. Once I am prepared to make the best of the next day, it is finally time to zone out and relax. For me, this can mean watching a few episodes of a favorite show or reading a book. I am on a bit of a murder mystery kick at the moment and have been reading Agatha Christie books to help unwind before bed. It's important to have a set end time for zoning out, though. It is shockingly easy to say, I'll just go to bed after this next episode or just one more chapter, and then accidentally stay up a few hours later than you meant to. I'm usually pretty good at calling it a night, but some people find it helpful to have a bedtime alarm on their phone as a reminder to turn off the TV, close the book, and head to bed. Finally, we are at the end of the evening routine. I have found a couple of things help me ensure a good night's sleep. The biggest one is to have a wake-up alarm set on my phone and the phone set up to charge on the other side of the room. I'm not sure if I'm the only one who does this, but I'll sometimes wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom and open up Facebook or Instagram for just a few minutes to help fall back to sleep. 
Then, two hours later, I have to force myself to stop scrolling and go back to sleep, which leads to waking up feeling exhausted. I have been making a conscious effort to stop doing this and found that putting my phone on the other side of the room helps me avoid this middle of the night scroll session. The last thing I do before bed is to make sure my sleeping space is set up for optimal sleep. I'm obsessed with essential oils, so I set up a diffuser in my room with lavender essential oil to promote sleep. I also fill up my hydro flask water bottle with ice water so that there will be fresh, cold water to drink the moment I wake up the next morning. Numerous studies have shown that we sleep better in a dark, quiet space, and I absolutely agree. I sleep with an eye mask on, as well as earplugs, which help me fall asleep faster and stay asleep in the morning when the sun starts to rise. I personally also sleep better in a quiet room, but some people do benefit from listening to some sort of white noise, so that's an option as well. I normally fall asleep very quickly once I lay down in bed, but sometimes I feel a little extra stimulated from the day, or just not completely calm and ready for sleep. In these cases, I'll take a melatonin pill to help me fall asleep. Melatonin is a hormone that your brain naturally produces at nighttime and is responsible for making you feel sleepy. While your body does naturally produce melatonin, sometimes it can be helpful to add this supplement. I don't use melatonin every night, but on evenings when I'm not feeling quite ready to hit the sack, it can help with that final phase of relaxation before sleep. And that is my productive evening routine. Obviously, I do sometimes schedule other activities in the evening, which would cause me to deviate from this. But as long as I'm able to complete this routine as many nights as possible, I find that I sleep better and feel more motivated and prepared for the next day. Let me know in the comments if there are any favorite parts of your own evening routine. I'm always interested in learning about what people do. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.